hey guys welcome in this channel so in the previous lecture we discussed what is the data structure and uh, what is the linked list what is the double linked list uh, what is the circular linked list okay and uh, why we are upgrading ourselves like uh, we have the array and why we will we'll, we are using the linked list why and why we are using the double linked list and after all that why we are using the circular linked list okay so i am to give you one example on array and uh, then I will give, show you advantage and the disadvantage. Then I will discuss on the linked list. Okay, so uh, this is my Eclipse ID. Right click and go to the new. I'm creating a one Java project. So name is uh, Mu Sigma DS, right? And finish this project. You will see this something. And in this SRC, I'm going to create a new class class name suppose that ts1 public or the package suppose that I'm going to give more form dot the sigma right finish okay this is the default code so if you want to initialize an array suppose that arr uh, any name you can give any name suppose that arr and okay and uh, in slicing suppose that and you are declaring in type of error right and uh, putting the value is 20 30 40 and 50 right you can see like this once you put the data like 1 and then 2 and then 3 then 4 right so this uh, will automatically in, uh, set the size of an ARR which is n type right so ek bar agar aapne element rakh diya iske baad iska size defined ho jayega but uh, in future if you want to add more data but because you made array so you cannot add more data in future okay so this is this was the problem this was the main problem because you cannot add the data dynamically okay so we will use the linked list so how you can use the linked list I'm going to show you okay <coughs> so uh, there is a predefined class linked list right uh, and the list equal to new linked list okay importing so this is the predefined class in java so this is the linked list predefined class sorry linked list okay this is the predefined class and you can use the predefined methods also but uh, in data series in this data series i will not uh, explain in pre uh, predefined functions i will explain how to make yourself data your data your, sorry uh, your methods your type of linked list okay so for the time being i am just uh, demonstrate i'm going giving a dem example uh, how to use this linked list how is it is working internally okay and then i will explain you in the next lecture how to make your linked list okay then you, you can use this reference list and dot dot uh, it has para it has the predefined method which is add and you can add easily data suppose that I want to add one and then the list dot add and then then two okay so copying this one thing copy and then paste and paste and paste so three four and five similar like this you can add the data using the add method right and also you can uh, use uh, if you want to remove the data you can use the remove method and you can remove the data okay again I'm telling to you that this all these all add and this linked list is predefined method and function and classes so don't get confused in the next lecture we will discuss uh, how to use uh, user defined of method data data type uh, and, and all okay okay so okay 
so suppose that i am writing this out and simply like uh, list okay and when you will run you will get your list right so if you want to remove the data suppose that uh, uh, from the list list dot uh, remove remove only remove okay so i want to remove the first one and then uh, i want to print the list i want to see the result run as then you will can see at the first position you can see the two will be there so it uh, removed the two because this is the zero index and this is the first index and so on this is the this is the one two zero one two three and this is the fourth index right so if you will uh, re want to remove the last uh, the last one uh, element so you have to pass the fourth index value index right when you will run as then you can see here this is the problem is going on what is the problem okay let's uh, check one more time this i'm going to remove this one save this one and then run as java application you can see here um i removed uh, the element number 5 right so this is this is just a demonstration i'm uh, giving you some basic knowledge how it is working but in the next lecture we will discuss how to make user define it okay so guys uh, hope you keep touching keep touch with this videos thank you so much guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel